There's a deep shot on goal just across the blue line. And the rebound goal goes in. Are you kidding me? That puck came off the backboards a million miles an hour. I didn't even see you put that in. They're all congratulating Guthrie or is it McDonald? McDonald. McDonald put it in off the Let's rebound. Let's take a look at the replay and see if we can find out. Yeah, that's McDonald, all right. At the 11-11 mark of the second period. I don't know who they're going to give the assist to. We'll listen. From Gibbons. As we suppose, McDonald gets credit for the goal. Gibbons gets the assist. <laughs> and the Utah State faithful let them know that they're not very good. Actually, Colorado plays a pretty good game of hockey, and this just tells you how well Utah State's playing right now to shut down Colorado 5 1 at 10 34 to go in the second period. There's a shot and goal that's sent back by Milan. Ooh, what a nice, nice check behind the net. It's been fantastic to watch the growth of this ACHA Western Division in the past five or six years that we've been doing hockey on the Valley Channel. And there's a great pass and a wide shot. Pucker factor was 10 there from McGrath in the pipes. Cook's got it back out at the blue line. Slaps off the blue line. Chest saved by McGrath. Number three, Jeremy Martin, tries to send that in, but McGrath's not having any of that. Colorado's got to do something to get back in this game. Almost too deep a hole to dig in, dig out of. Like I was saying, the ACHA hockey in the Western region, you know, we did a game a few years ago. We did Utah State, Utah, and I think uh, Utah State won 23 to one. Oh, geez. Yeah, so it's good to see the growth of the hockey skill level in this whole Western region. Makes for more exciting TV. Most definitely, especially the last two years. Winnipeg's in Manitoba, right? Yeah. Right in the middle of Canada. And the provinces up there are like... That's Manitoba, yeah. Ginormous. Yeah, they're big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's it right above? The Dakotas? North Dakota. Right, at the, right, right across the border. All right. I grew up in Washington, so Alberta was always Canada to me. <laughs> I got a lot of relatives in Alberta. Another power play. Who's going to the sin bin? Number 12, Sam Kinney for Colorado is going to have a seat for two minutes on a minor penalty, and I didn't see the signal. We'll listen for the PA announcer to tell us why he's there and let him think about what he did. Cross check. That's the second time cross check has been called again tonight. It's Utah State in the power play. They gave up a power play goal earlier. So Utah State's second power play of the night. Oh, did a good job killing the first one. Stick on the ice. Nice try. Pad save from McGrath. McDonald tries to go over the five hole. drops it back behind the net. Let Sanders go after it. Sanders with a nice block out. Must have played basketball sometime in his life. It's a, it's a hobby in the offseason. <laughs> well, Dennis Rodman going on there. And you asked for it. Well, Gibbons is getting hot. Kerr's going to go to the sin bin. Only a minor penalty, though. It wasn't a full-on fight. Just a couple of punches thrown. It's going to be two down for Colorado as uh, number four, Jace Richardson, is involved in that skirmish. It's 
still one minute remaining in the original penalty on uh, number 12, Sam Kinney for Colorado. So it'll still be a power play opportunity for Utah State. Okay, so they didn't put any time upon the clock. Is that a game misconduct? Explain that penalty to me. I think it's 10 minute misconduct. So he's in the he's in there for 10 minutes. Both of them. Yep. Actually, no, they're coincidental. So, yeah. We <laughs> just saw the power play goal from the blue line. That's Martin again. Take a look at the shot as Martin gets a clean look at the goal. And drops it on McGrath. McGrath can't even see it coming. Great shot. A fantastic shot. B better screen in front. We had some guys in front for once. No chance. You got to keep your head on a swivel if you're in between the pipes, and that is nearly impossible with a couple of, a couple of butts in your face. Lim with the assist. Number 11 for Utah State. Utah State looking for more now, coming across the blue line, and there's a shot at McGrath. He freezes the puck in his bread basket. Now 7 to, uh, 7.25 to go in the second period. It seems like the Aggies have this pretty firmly in hand. And you still have... Uh, Basically 27 and a half minutes of play left. How do, how do you do a couple things? One, stay motivated in this game. And, and two, if you're Coach Eccles, you've got to worry about injuries possibly. McDonald's already been on his face once. How do you keep yourself motivated in a blowout? I mean, we we got to remember that uh, it shows in the standings how much you beat a team by. So we can't uh, take our foot off the pedal here. We have to beat them by as much as we can so that uh, when they do uh, rankings, this will come. Uh, oh, no nice shot! This will come for. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're having fun watching, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. No, but if, if we beat him by more, that'll look better for the standings. Boy, that's a good save there by Sandro. Gibbons has it taken away, Colorado heading back up ice. That's actually one of the criteria in voting for the rankings is the general knowledge of the team, which seems a little subjective to me, but it's pretty much what you know about the team. If you know they're beating the tar out of people, you give them a higher vote. Exactly. I think CU's ranked four or five. So. They're fourth. So this is a, this would be a big win for Utah State if they can hang on and pour it on for that matter. Icing against Utah State. Going to bring it back. 6.05 to go in the second period. So when we're all sitting around here complaining about how much we hate winter, you guys in Winnipeg, they're like, whatever. Winter is nothing down here, right? No, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful down here <laughs> compared to back home. It's the flatlands, so we get uh, the windshields, the, oh, the yeah. difference maker. Minus 25 windshield. That's just the north end of Tornado Alley, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That's where uh, McDonald's from, too, actually. Winnipeg, Manitoba. McDonald's? Yep. McDonald. Like, right? Oh, McDonald. Like, the, the restaurant? <laughs> That's awesome. We have that, too. <laughs> Brendan McDonald, also from Winnipeg. That's a lot of points from Manitoba for the Aggies. <laughs> Nice uh, save. That was a great save. And Saunders got to get up. There's a great cross check. They're going to call that cross check. That's a Besson was just protecting his goalie. Yeah, that's an iffy call. I think he called that uh, going off the score. <laughs> but so, yeah, 
they start to get a little more uh, sensitive to the team that's getting the tar beat out of them. Take a look at number eight there, Basan as he's. Oh, that's no cross check. No. I think he got him for the swing, the second swing there, and had to call something. Didn't feel like calling high sticking, so he calls a cross check. And Basan goes to the uh, box for a two minute penalty. It's going to put Colorado on the power play and give them a chance to get a goal back in this game. Milan with the save. Utah State clears that around that, all the way to the other end of the ice. McGrath goes to get it to get things started for Colorado, but McDonald's there to try and stop any momentum. Colorado's their best chance in a long time, but Milan sends it back. Can't take it to the short side when the goalie buries that corner. Corner disappeared. Puck dropping the Aggie into the ice again. Well, I've been an official for a lot of different kind of games, but I would never do hockey. That's got to be the most dangerous officiating job in the world. Another save by Milan. And a goal for Colorado. Power play goal at 429 in the second period. Let's see if we can see who scored it on the replay. A couple of rebound goals and a putback there by, look like number 22, Brennan Steinecker. That's who we're going to say it is until the PA announcer says anything different. He is actually their leading scorer. Didn't start tonight, but he scores quite a bit for, for Colorado. Brendan Steinecker with 43 points on the season overall, 19 goals and 24 assists. Ah, they gave it to number 20. Zach Lass scores that goal, bringing it to 6-2. Utah State still with a comfortable lead and four minutes to go in the second period. comes way out of his goal. That was a little scary. Got a fast break coming and you're 10 feet away from the goal. <laughs> Colorado clears it themselves. <laughs> To hold that song. Could be a penalty shot. Going to get a penalty shot? No, just a chicken. Ah. There you go, another power some, play. <laughs> sometimes uh, that's all you can do. You're beat. All you can do is trip and hope you don't get a penalty shot. Exactly. A closer look brought to you by Baldwin Optical. And boy, McGrath was cooked. His defender didn't help him out there. Gibbons, Guthrow, McDonald, Huppert, and who's on the far side over there? Uh, it's just Sanders, I think. 21. 21. It's Kerr. Jordan Kerr. Tripping penalty, once again, a power play opportunity for Utah State. Get a hold of the puck. 